Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to talk about Photo Magico 5. So the first thing we're going to do is start Photo Magico 5. Now, one of the cool new features is that it has a stage size of 4K. Previously, um, this wasn't possible, so you can get the most out of your high-resolution images and displays. So I'll create a new slideshow. And we always want to start with a title or intro, and so they have some really great ones built in. I like this mountain one, so I'll just drag that over here. Now this has various values in it, and so one of the important things to know is that it's going to use um, values from your slideshow settings. So you'll want to come in here for info and make sure that you have something that's meaningful. So I'll say Asian vacation and I'll have my name and copyright and so on the page now I'll also come in here and for my first page I'm gonna go ahead and just put in an image so I'll come over here to images I dragged and dropped this 4k folder right in here so that it would uh, show up by default that's not there and these are images that have been pre-sized to 4k so I'm gonna go through and choose this image from Kyoto Japan and for this side I'm going to shrink it down a little bit okay and then I'm going to add some text. And I want to say Ross. And I can move that wherever I want. And so let's say that I just do something wacky just to illustrate a point. And I'm going to end it right there. So you can see this is the start slide. This is the end slide. So you notice how the images are different sizes on these two and the text in different locations. So watch what happens when I do that. You see that it will animate the text from that, that uh, path location from here to there. And that the image, if you watch it uh, carefully again, the image zooms in. So this is a really cool functionality that without a lot of effort, I can get really cool animations. This is probably not uh, what I would do for a real video, but this is a good illustration of that point. So let's do some other cool stuff. Next, these snippets are really the key um, feature to you know, really get working quickly. So I have some images that are portrait orientation which aren't necessarily good for slideshows, but what they have are these cool split screens. And so if I say two vertical and bring that over here, what you'll notice is that it will have my portrait images in here and it will allow them to show up in a full slide. And if you notice, you notice how this guy is up here and this guy is down here and vice versa. What it's saying, uh, showing is that it will animate those by just essentially shifting them from the start to the beginning of the slide animation. So I'll come in here and let's see, um, let's say I think I'm considering this one, but it's kind of hard to see the image. If I click on here, I can get a quick preview. It's like, oh yeah, that's, that's an image I'm interested in using. So I'll come along, I'll add that. And I don't really like how it positioned that by default. So I'm going to move that this way. And I want to actually have it show more of the image when I get to the end here. So I can shrink it down. There's lots of different ways I can do it. I can change the zoom slider. Yeah, I can rotate it if I want to. Um, I can grab the handles. So let's say you know, I really want to you know, have the whole image shown. So I can do that. There's black borders. It's OK. Um, 
So this is basically going to do a zoom in to show you the whole image, but it's going to start at this point. And then for my next image, we'll do this tree. And I really don't like what it's doing here. You know, I this is a cool tree image, but I don't really like that it's starting off that way. So once again, I'll zoom. And let's actually go ahead and pull this down a little bit. Okay. So I'll start by seeing the whole thing. And then maybe I'll back off that zoom just a little bit. And yeah, maybe let's do it like that. And we're done here. Okay. All right. So and we can always preview these along the way to see what it's going to do. Okay. So next one, let's see. Let's choose the two grid. That just determines where the bigger image is. So I'll go back to images. And let's see for this one. I'm going to choose my steps shot here. And I uh, see, I want to start with basically just walking up the steps. And I'm going to, I'm going to shrink that down. And we're going to just essentially go from the bottom of the steps to the top of the steps. And then the next image I think I'll do is I'll probably do this one here for the top. And again, I kind of want to shrink this guy down, position it this way. And, you know, for this one, I don't really want it to animate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the geometry and then paste the geometry so that now these two will be exactly the same. So they won't move. And that may be something you want to do all the time. Uh, some people don't really care for the animation. So um, that's how you do that. For the next one, I'm going to add this one here. And I'm going to scooch him up just a little bit. And now yeah, I think for this one, just to keep things from being so busy, I'm going to stop the animation on it as well. Yeah. So, oops. Copy the geometry here. Paste it here. I'm going to come down here, hit play. And notice how nothing is moving over here, but it is moving over here. And sometimes when you get multiple things going on, that's a little bit easier because when you have so much moving, it's sometimes hard to follow what's happening. There's another cool one I want to show you. There's this thing called a photo pile. This is really fun. Add an image for A. Let's see, add this one. And then for B, I'm going to go add this image for A and add this image for B. Come over here. And then I'm going to add this image to B, this image to A. And let's add this image to C. So if we play this back, see this image come in, that image come in, then the third image come in. Pretty neat. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in the image. And let's start by saying 
zoom fill stage completely or I could if I wanted just to show the whole image I could say show whole image whichever I want and then for this one here I'm going to do something a little bit more outrageous and I'm going to make it a little smaller and I'm going to rotate it just for fun and I think you know maybe I want to do this the other way around so I could say animation reverse and when I do that I think you know maybe I should rotate it the other way so let's see what that looks like kind of cool I like it if we wanted things to go a little quicker we could change this slide speed let's say we make it six we'll make it really fast so yeah that's a lot quicker but I'm not too crazy about this effect that we have here so if I come over here to slideshow that the uh, transition that we have I kind of like this cube transition a little bit better I mean there's all kinds of cool ones but let's just play around with cube so if I came over here and said okay we had our three images from the pile come in and then whoop, that's kind of cool so now let's go back over here to snippets and let's go ahead and wrap this thing up with some end credits and I'm going to just do now if I want to see what these things do I can always double click and it will show me a little preview of what it's going to do okay I like that so I'm going to put some rolling credits in here and actually I want to add some music too so got lots of music choices uh, kind of like this Eastern thought if I double click on it I can kind of hear it so, okay I like that so oops I'm gonna come drag this in here and it goes through the whole thing and I can move this around so you don't want to start until actually the first slide happens and then go through the end credits and I can use different music if I want for others as well so let's do that and then and I can also you know make it longer if I wanted to put this in the beginning and just drag the end of it and I can make this longer so it'll repeat so now I need to edit these uh, credits. Now the way that I do that is that I have stuff off the screen that I can't see. So I just kind of scooch this up here for a bit. And I don't like how it says starring my friends. And so I'm going to say locations. And I'm going to say Kyoto, Japan. Osaka, Japan, and Seoul, South Korea. Oh. And then I'm going to drag this back down off the screen. And then I'm going to do a preview of that, see how it looks. If I wanted to um, put something for that music, I could just say by uh, let's see, photo magical. Whoops. Cool. And now that I'm done with that, I have a complete movie I can watch. So I have no music for the first slide, but now I get music because that's where 
I'll place that on the timeline. Please be sure to check out my blog at ronmartblog.com, as well as looking at my full review. Thanks a lot. Bye.